Hello, everybody, again. Uh, this is Dave Strong from the Schmidt Music Saxophone Shop. Let's talk a little bit about how to put your saxophone together. When you first open that case, there's going to be a lot of parts and pieces in there. And if you don't exactly know how to put it together, it can be a little intimidating, but it's pretty easy. But uh, if you do it right, you can avoid breaking anything or having any issues. So, yeah, let's talk about each part of the saxophone. So the first thing that you'll want to pull out of your case is something that looks kind of like this. This is what's called a neck strap. It'll have a hook on the bottom. It'll have some padding up here to keep it comfortable on your neck. And you just take that, put it over your neck. That's a great first step because that'll hold the saxophone while we're putting it together and you won't be dropping pieces or having anything uh, fall out of your hands. The second piece that I take out is this. And this is the body of the saxophone. This is most of the saxophone, if you notice. This is the bell, uh, the bow, and the body tube here. These are all connected so that none of this stuff comes apart in any way or at least it doesn't you shouldn't be taking it apart. Um, that's something your repair person can uh, look at if you, if you ever have need. The first thing I want to do is take this hook on my neck strap and hook it into the saxophone. That way, even if I completely let go of it, I've still got it. I'm not going to drop my saxophone. So the next part that we want to take out of the case is this. This is the neck of the saxophone. This will fit right up into the little hole up here, but you want to unscrew this top screw a little bit so that it goes in nice and smoothly. This screw on your right is what holds the neck in there firmly while you're playing. So I put the neck in there, should slide in pretty easily. If it doesn't, uh, maybe loosen the screw even a little bit more. If it still doesn't, just make sure everything's clean and it should be if you've just gotten a new saxophone. And once I have it in there, I'll tighten it up a little bit so that the neck stays firm. The next thing we'll want to grab out is this. This is your mouthpiece. So this goes onto the end of the neck and it's a little piece of plastic, some will be hard rubber, and we'll want to put it on here. Now if you notice, the end here is just some cork. So to make it slide easily, you will in your case have this stuff, cork grease. There's a bunch of different brands. It either looks like chapstick like this, sometimes you'll get it in a little tube and you can squeeze it out. We'll just put a very little bit of that on the neck. You don't need to use too much, a little bit goes a long way. And that'll make it easier than to take this and put it on here. What I'd say before we do that, a little warning, hold the neck like here, just pretty gently, so that when you're sliding it on there, you're not putting too much pressure. You don't want to pull this way when you're doing it, because you can actually bend the neck tube. It's kind of one of the, the uh, most delicate parts of the instrument. So we'll put the mouthpiece on there, and it should look just like that. The next thing that we'll want to grab is this. This is what's called a ligature. So it'll have one or two screws in there. It's kind of hard to see in the picture. But basically, this is what's going to hold your reed onto the instrument. And so that, we simply put on the end right there. It should slide right over. If you have, have it backwards, you'll notice it doesn't go on all the way. So you want to flip it over. Almost always, the screws go on the bottom. There are ones that the screws go on the top, but that's probably not coming with your first saxophone. So we'll slide that on there. And we're all set with that. And the last step is we'll want to put the reed on there. You can put your reed in your mouth like this to wet it a little bit while you're doing everything else. It doesn't need to be soaking, but having a little moisture helps it to uh, get a nice tight seal against the mouthpiece. And while we're putting this on, I slide it, lift up the ligature a little bit and slide it under the ligature and try to get it so the tip of the reed lines up with the tip of the mouthpiece. I don't press down too much with this hand. I don't want to bend the reed, but I'm just holding it. And then with my right hand, I'll give it a couple uh, screws to make it tight. We don't want it to be super tight, so you don't want to wrench it on there just enough so that you know it's holding the reed. And ta-da, you have a completely assembled saxophone and ready to play. In the next video, we'll talk about how to get that first sound out of the saxophone. So once you've got it all together, we can go and uh, start honking out some notes. We'll see you in the next video.